Barrick Boxing Gloves, made in America. Hello and welcome to fit to box channel, I'm Coach Simon and here on fit to box channel I bring you all things boxing equipment. Today I've got a new brand to the channel and that is Barrick Boxing and these are the vintage gold boxing gloves by this company and they are handmade in Texas in the USA. So what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to show you the box that they come in, then the bag, then I'll show you the actual gloves. So I'll put them to one side. They come in this box, so you've got Barrick on the side there, uh, you've got Barrick on the other side and then this end you've got Barrick Boxing Vintage Gold size and it's got 16 ounce there's 12, 14 and 16 ounce and they've circled 16 ounce and also traditional and hook and loop so H and L is hook and loop so if I just show you that as well and that's sort of what you've got on the outside and then on the inside what you've got is this is wrapped around the bag and the gloves you've got like an old school newspaper there that you can see which I think is a really nice touch there I'll just put that down then inside you've got this I've got this to myself Simon and then a little American flag there and it says boxing is an American tradition that has survived for over 200 years in recent decades the art of hand crafting boxing gloves has been lost to factories overseas at Barrick Boxing, we are dedicated to bringing boxing manufacturing home. Every pair of Barrick Boxing gloves is made in the USA uh, from the finest American leather we can find. We are confident you will appreciate the difference of the superior quality and craftsmanship of Barrick Boxing. Thank you for supporting our patriotic mission and sharing the, our love for this American tradition. And on there, it's got, uh, this is a pair of boxing gloves handcrafted by Rich B., uh, April 2024 and then this pair of boxing gloves inspected by Paul R. Okay, so that's the sort of card that came in that and a nice little touch with the wax there. I put that to one side. Then they come in this bag which is a, a canvas old school type bag with obviously barrack boxing on the outside. Uh, if anything, I would say this bag needs to be a little bit deeper um, but it does it does the job but make that a little bit bigger I would say okay so these are the gloves and as you can see they are classic old school look to them and I'll bring that round there okay and they have got a beautiful leather beautiful smell to that leather and then you've got a maroon lining in there as well and look at the stitching the stitching on there lovely including black welted seams and then you've got innovative padding in there which is nasa foam okay and also horse hair as well so very unusual padding that has been used on these gloves as i say these come in 12 14 and 16 ounce these are 16 ounce and they are 435 english pounds and you can get them from barrickboxing.com so let's have a closer look at these gloves old school looking glove as you can see that beautiful thick leather there and then you've got barrack in the gold and then down the bottom you've got barrack sort of with the stars and the stripes of America let's bring that round straight away you'll see that stitching really really well stitched you can see the 16 ounce that is on that grip bar and also down the bottom there made in Texas so knuckle as you can see I'm going to press that round so the knuckle you can see is a real puncher's glove and you can see that that is a soft knuckle okay there's more padding in this bit here than there is on the actual knuckle of course a, these have done a hundred rounds but again the back here very very thinly padded in there there is NASA padding and also horse hair padding now the NASA padding is really great when it comes to shock absorption and dissipating energy in saying that I still believe that these are definitely a puncher's glove because of the lack of padding that is in there 
in this sort of area. There is a big piece of padding there on that bulbous lump that covers the front of the thumb. I think that could be reduced and here I think that definitely could have more padding in. These are definitely a puncher's sparring glove. So the thumb as you can see is a one piece with no seam here. As I bring that round, I've talked about this big lump here, but also if you have a look at the attachment, the attachment goes into the glove, very much like similar to Dinardo's thumb attachment where it goes into the main body of the glove. On the front of the thumb, you've got six of the largest air holes I have ever seen on a pair of boxing gloves. And also you can see that sort of stitching, what they've done with that there. So at the back, you've got thick padding. It's still soft, but thick padding at the rear. You've got bulbous padding at the front, and you've got bulbous padding at the front there. Then you've got the laces. The laces are long enough. On the one set, that's the sort of the ends and how they look. And then, But the, what's happened with the other one is they have started to fray on the other one. Okay, so they come like that, and then... During the testing process, they have ended up like that on the one glove. So you've got the overly thick bulbous padding going right the way up to the top here. And then you've got it there. You've got obviously the laces and then down at the bottom there. Made in Texas with the little map on. And then on there you can see 16 ounce on the grip bar. And there is eight large air holes. But you've got that yellow gold stitching they're really well stitched you can see these feel rugged and they also feel quality and that's reflected in that stitching and you've got the black welted seam as well lining you've got a really great quality maroon lining that is soft and also very very durable you've got a couple of labels in there the made in usa and also sort of the combat the normal combat label in there but that is a really great lining the left glove just put those laces on there so this should be 16 ounce comes out at 16.0 exactly and then the other glove put that one on and then put the laces and that comes out at 15.8 oh 15.7 so let's have a look at the comfort as you can see I'll put these on so these are the lace version you can get these as well in velcro straight away when you put your hand in really really comfortable and you can open up no problem at all of course these have gone through the fit to box testing process so these have done at least a hundred rounds that is on the bag on the mitts and also i've used them for sparring as well so i've got a really great idea about how good these gloves are and how they compare to the other gloves out there so straight away you can see there is some big padding either side of the laces You've also got a tucked in thumb, then you've got that knuckle area and that's a flat punch surface there and these are definitely punchers gloves I would say. When it comes to the finger area, the finger pad that is really comfortable, no pain at the back of sort of the first finger knuckles and also the thumb is really comfortable as well and you have got a very supportive rear to the back of these gloves so comfort wise very very impressive um the only thing i would say is i think there's a couple of items on here that are a bit big this big bit here is a bit big and also these bits here and here are a little big as well so you've almost got more padding here more padding here and more padding here and i actually think you could do with a bit more padding in the knuckle area okay so i will come to that so as i put the other one on and again 
really, really comfortable. You can open up no problem at all, no areas of discomfort. If I was being really picky, then my thumbs are pressing against the end of that thumb attachment and that thumb attachment, I can feel the end of it right with the end of my thumb. Did it bother me in sparring? No. Did it bother me on the bags? No. And you have got a really good fist position with these gloves as well, um, with the thumbs tucked in. So, just want to make you aware of that. So, in sparring, I really like them in sparring. What I would say is these are a really hard sparring glove. That horse hair in there and that NASA foam does mean that you have got quite a thin knuckle area, uh, quite a thin knuckle padding. So let me just bring that around, okay. So yeah, you can see from that, there isn't much in the way of padding, almost from here, going, going sort of to the, the back of the glove as well. So if you are sparring, and you want a puncher's glove for your sparring gloves, then these would be perfect. If you want a glove that is going to protect your sparring partner so you can do many, many rounds, um, then obviously this is not the glove for you. Okay, so again, I would think that this sort of padding here and here uh, would be better in this sort of area here for me. Okay, bag work, the knuckle padding, obviously because it flattens out, it does feel like you're making a really good connection on the bag and you have got a really good support when it comes to the wrist uh, by way of that nice padding at the rear and also you've got the padding at the front as well uh, and as I say fit to box testing is not only myself but several other people have wore these gloves and given me their feedback so this is not just my opinion it's the opinion of a few of the boxers that are at Telford Amateur Boxing Club as well as my own thoughts okay so I think that is a more complete way for you to get feedback on what these feel like on different size people with different size hands okay so as I just put this to one side then so let's get the card up onto the screen these will go into the fit to box super heavyweight lace price division four gloves between 401 english pounds to 800 english pounds that's 501 us dollars to 950 us dollars okay i've gone style 95 for that old school look comfort very comfortable 96 durability superb quality in the leather and the stitching and also the lining durability 97 sparring these are punches hard sparring gloves so i've gone 95 i prefer them a little bit more on the bag so i've gone 96 with that great punch surface and actual fist position and value for money 95 at 435 english pounds these obviously because they are handmade in america they are going to be that price Okay, they're not mass produced in like Pakistan or China. They're made by Rich in America. And then obviously there is a premium for that. Um, not only for the quality of the materials, but that sort of service that you are getting. One master craftsman in America making these gloves. Okay, so let's get the fit to box report card on the screen. Okay, old school look. Futuristic nasa foam as well as that horsehair these are a puncher's glove and they do definitely get better with use they are made in texas in the united states of america beautiful leather 12 14 16 ounce they do come in lace and velcro uh, the only thing i would say is i think that that front padding there is a bit over the top in terms of the bulbousness and there as well and it could do with having more on the knuckle area the thumb ends, as I've mentioned, with the thumb attachments, you can sort of feel it right at the end of your thumbs. Um, obviously, the price point will be out of reach for some. And also, the weight difference between the left and the right is not massive, but I would expect these to be spot on when it comes to weight. So, I am hugely impressed with these gloves. So much so that I have awarded them four fit to box stars outstanding and a score of 95.6 what that means on my price divisions is and new american champion taking the title from 1v1 who has had that title for a hell of a long time 
but these narrowly are scoring above those gloves and so for gloves that are made in America actually manufactured in America that's what that title is for and this Barrick Boxing is now the American champion so if you want to check out my website fitterboxchannel.com you can see all my price divisions on there where I've rated and ranked all of the gloves and you will be able to see where these come in not only the Fitterbox Super Heavyweight Lace Price Division but also the Pound for Pound list because these gloves because they're rated so highly do feature in the Pound for Pound list as well. So I hope you enjoyed that please like and subscribe to Fitterbox channel and I shall speak to you soon.